Well, hello there, and uh, good evening, uh, <clears throat> YouTube. I just choked a little bit on a drink one moment ago, so if I cough for a little bit extra, uh, well, I just went down the wrong pipe. <laughs> oh, saying goes. Other than that, hello there, I, uh, YouTube. I'm uh, William Brantley, uh, reporting uh, live from... Uh, South Jackson, I <laughs> had to think of where it was, uh, South Jackson, Tennessee, or a little bit more Pacific Bemis, Tennessee, uh, ready to share with you today's uh, weather climate summary and uh, give you a forecast for the next few days uh, momentarily. The great news, even without reading the details, looks like fair weather through at least the weekend. Uh, possibly even into the uh, first half of next week, uh, minus a uh, small chance for rain early next week. Uh, I'll get into that details uh, a little later. The temperatures has, has been ideal the last few days. Nice and cool, but uh, going to be closer to 90 degrees by the weekend, of course. But uh, even that's not bad, though. 91 is normal. Even that's below normal. Well, all right, let me get on to the climate data and uh, talk about the forecast a little bit more uh, in a few moments. As of 5 p.m. here in Bemis, Tennessee, the skies were clear. <coughs> Excuse me. The temperature was 80 degrees at that time. It's uh, down to, oh, 72 degrees as of 7.54 p.m. All right. Getting down there already. Uh, see, uh, no, no heat index today. The humidity was just perfect, uh, prevented from getting too hot. Uh, 56 degrees was the dew point at 5 p.m. I'll catch up in a second <clears throat> with my thoughts. Uh, humidity was at 43% at 5 p.m. We had northeast winds at 9 miles per hour. And the barometric pressure was 30.09 inches of mercury. <clears throat> Let me see if I can give me more, more, one more drink. Hold on. Ease up that little tingling I got in my throat this evening. I should have waited till that settled before I done the video. Ah, uh, that's okay. I'll be okay here in a moment. Thank goodness. <laughs> Yes, it was cool this morning. Low temperature here in Bemis, Tennessee. <clears throat> Goodness, was 60 degrees. Uh, the Jackson, Tennessee airport got down to 58 degrees. By the way, 58 degrees is the record coolest low for the day. So the airport tied the record coolest low of 50 degrees, but Bemis did not with uh, 60 degrees for low. Hey, regardless, it was nice and cool, whether it tied a record or not, but uh, felt good. Down here, Bemis again, 60 degrees this morning. It did warm up to a nice 85 degrees uh, here in Bemis this afternoon. And, of course, no rain fell since midnight, and none's expected for almost the entire week. I'm still sitting at 6.28 for the month. Of July, normal is 5.38. Now, I'll take that back. 3.38 inches. Uh, for the year, I'm at 43.31 inches. Normal is 31.96. Uh, 76. 31.76. Sorry for a minor confusion there. Or mix-up, or whatever you want to call it. Alrighty, otherwise, the uh, lowest uh, since from midnight through 5 p.m., the lowest humidity was 43%. The highest was 97%. Uh, let me get that cameras off a little bit. There we go. Uh, lowest dew point temperature was 58 degrees. The highest would be 66 degrees. Lowest barometric pressure would be 30.09. And the highest would be 30.15 inches of uh, mercury. Highest wind gust today was 20 miles per hour out of the north. Records for today, July 24th, you already know one of them. Hottest high would be 100 degrees in 1965. The uh, coolest high or lowest high would be 77 degrees in 1971. Warmest low would be 78 in 1983. And again, the coolest low 
uh, would be 58 degrees. And that happened in uh, the year 2000, by the way, and tied in 2003, and tied again at the Jackson, Tennessee airport in 2019, but not here in Bemis, though. Just 2000 to 2003 here in the Bemis area for the, uh, the uh, record, uh, the, the, the dates that occurred. But 60 degrees is still reasonably close, though. Oh, well. All right. Rainfall record, uh, 1.93 inches, and that fell in 1987 is when that happened. All right. That concludes the the uh, text data, <laughs> if I may call it that, or summary for the day. The rest of it's made up of uh, the radar and uh, satellite pictures and, and, and the future forecast maps which I'll show you that uh, right now. Of course, uh, this is more for verification than anything. No rain on the radar again tonight. It won't be for several more days, probably. As you can see, West Tennessee is clear. And uh, let me branch it out maybe a couple of times, see if there's anything kind of close by. Probably not. Uh, let me see. Let me branch it on over and get the uh, whole state in. Looks like the whole state is clear, as you can see. Uh, all across the area. Uh, especially here in West Tennessee, where I'm at. And let me kind of get Jackson in the center there, sort of. Let me get the camera in the center, too. <laughs> uh, let me see. One more, just for fun. Uh, a good portion of the southeast is fairly dry uh, this evening. Uh, let me see, branch down just a little bit. Oops, if I can grab the antenna right. Well, most of the rain is down in Florida. <laughs> oh, I shouldn't laugh. I don't mean to be laughing. It sounds like a sarcastic laugh. I didn't mean to. Let me show you what I mean. Uh, a little bit of rain along the... Uh, uh, the area of Florida there that you see, uh, keep, uh, the, the north of Tampa, uh, on around as you can see. I, I don't want to name those cities since they're not actually showing up on this one. Maybe if I get a little closer to tell, let me see. I ain't gonna spend a whole lot of time on it since it's uh, not affecting us here in West Tennessee directly. Uh, I still don't want to give the name of that area down there. It's uh, south of Tallahassee, probably east. Uh, uh, I, I bet it's Appalachicola, somewhere near there, uh, south of there probably. Where you see the storms where they are, uh, down, uh, near Spring Hill on down there, north of Tampa, Florida, and those areas. That's the only area right now that is raining in the southeastern portion of the country, I believe. Nothing here in Tennessee, of course. We don't verified that. Let me move it back up one more time to be sure that you see that along with me. All right. Uh, I let me move on to a couple, a few more maps. Now we've got that out of the way. Well, you got to see it. I put that away. All right. I'm going to show you a different map tonight, and I hope I uh, don't regret it. <laughs> it uh, it's done quit. <laughs> oh my lord! And that was perfect setup too. Ah. Uh, I tell you what, I know what I can do. Uh, I'll go back. To, I'll go ahead and show this one, and I know what I need to do to correct it. I'll just skip the one I had there. Let me take it off. I had to. I had a weather underground set up, but never mind. I'll go ahead and go the way that I usually go, and give you the current surface map thanks to the Weather Channel. I should have known better. I won't quit complaining and just show it to you. <laughs> uh, if I may say so. Here's a current surface map, thanks to the Weather Channel. And as you can see, there, there's a rain down there in Florida we were just talking about on the radar just a moment ago. Uh, with that showing the Pacific cities. My, the other one showed some of the Pacific cities, or at least a cl closer view. Uh, you see a bunch of low pressures right along the off the east coast actually 
all the way down to the Gulf of Mexico. My goodness, what a stretch. And a stationary front connecting all that. Stationary front from all the way up there in southeast Canada, all the way down into Mexico, all the way over here to California. My goodness, that's a long stretch right there. Uh, over a thousand miles, I'm sure. And then actually it goes into that low here, and a little weak trough almost go from there to northern California, and that stretch is on back on up into Canada. My goodness, all the way around. <laughs> God, from the east to the west coast almost, in a sense. Wow, that's an interesting uh, scenario there. But right here in Tennessee, beautiful. All right, cool. Now let me move on to the uh, forecast maps, which I think I had it on a different one. Uh, well, I can bring it back up. Let me see. Let me get this. Uh, I'll bring it back. Oh, I thought I had it. I think I... I know what I did with it. Well, actually, I may have it right. No, that's the radar. Never mind. Uh, here's the forecast maps uh, for tomorrow morning. Oh, I, I, I need to quit goofing off. <laughs> no, I'm just playing around. Here's a forecast map for tomorrow morning. The national forecast map, that is. Uh, the lows are still in the same spot, almost. But the most precipitation is limited down to Florida. Ah, oh, poor Florida. They're going to get a little rain tomorrow morning, I guess. And, and again, it stretches all the way from here, almost southeast Canada but virtually, all the way around, down into the Gulf, down into Mexico, and way over here to California again. Instead of going straight up, it cuts off to the right, goes back over to South Dakota, and then on up into Canada again. Nice little shrink there. My goodness. That's for tomorrow morning. I guess if it showed Canada, my owner would be, be a complete circle. <laughs> uh, it doesn't show Canada on this one, so I don't know. But that's the current uh, tomorrow morning's forecast map. No rain, of course, locally here in Tennessee. Uh, let me uh, just show midday. Ah, it breaks up. Oh, no. <laughs> I better quit teasing about all that. Uh, the fronts are still to the south of us, as you can see, by midday tomorrow. And it does break up a little bit. It becomes a weak trough along the Baja, California, that long stretch out there. It still goes on back up into Canada, up in this area here, with no rain hardly out there, except for in Colorado mainly, and down in Florida, and very spotty otherwise by uh, midday tomorrow. All right. Uh, let me see. Uh... Thursday evening, tomorrow night, uh, there you go. Uh, fronts are still along the eastern coast. High pressures broke that uh, front up. <laughs> Looks like up there in uh, the New Jersey area. Broke it up. Oh, well. That's the way it happens sometimes. It still stretches on down to the Gulf of Mexico. Uh, and then eventually, you see a bunch of them out there out west. Lows and highs combined, creating some precipitation in parts of that area but uh, still clear in the southeast and here in Tennessee and most of the southeast I should say maybe a little rain down there in parts of Florida on the, like on the east side by tomorrow night most of it's on the northwest side in a sense but uh, tomorrow night it'll be on the east side mainly according to this map all right that's a view of tomorrow night's weather map now let's look at the Pacific forecast uh, for right here in uh, Jackson and West Tennessee. Uh, let me turn it around so I can read it to you. A few days off to you anyways. Uh, let me see. Get this to where I can see it okay. There we go. Uh, hit this so I can read it better. Uh, scoot this over a little bit. Mostly fair skies like I mentioned. Uh, for the rest of tonight. Thursday. Friday. Uh, Saturday, might as well say Sunday, Monday of next week now. Tuesday's the next chance for rain here in West Tennessee. 40% chance of scattered showers and thunderstorms, which is not that big of a chance, really. Very be cloudy most of that day. Fair by Tuesday night, though. And also a chance by Wednesday of next week, 40% chance. Be clearing up by noon. 
Wednesday of next week, July 31st, and be fair the rest of that day, and then back to fair skies for Thursday and Friday, August the 1st and 2nd. That's a long range forecast for you there. Highs in the middle 80s by then, and, and uh, lows in the upper 60s, which ain't, ain't all that bad for that time of the year. More to, more to the night tomorrow forecast ideal. Uh, let's see, uh, low tomorrow morning, th Thursday, May, July 25th, uh, 57. Whoa, 57 degrees tomorrow morning. And you thought uh, 58 to 60 this morning was cool. Wait till tomorrow morning. <laughs> when it gets down to 57, uh, it probably end up being at the airport, though. I don't know if Bemis get quite that cool, but it'd be close. 57 for low. High tomorrow about 85. That's pretty much what we had today. Be a similar day tomorrow. Now, northeast winds are 5 to, 50, 5 to 10 miles per hour tomorrow. The sun sets tonight at 8.05. It just did, matter of fact. It'll be rising tomorrow at 5.57 a.m. The moon will be, uh, actually, it's already, it rose at, uh, my now, on the 24th. Uh, I, I, I'm not understanding my own writing here. Let's see, 12.36 a.m. Uh, I think it, uh, it sets at 12.54 p.m. on the 24th. That is today. Moon's already gone then. It's set at about 1 p.m. roughly today. The last quarter moon did phase. Uh, it'll be, the moon will be rising tomorrow morning, actually, at uh, 12.36 a.m. and set at 1.53 p.m. tomorrow afternoon. Yeah. Okay. I got, and it is, be, it is in the last quarter phase also. The moon is. Uh, let's see, uh, on into Friday, uh, low of 62, high of 88, with southeast winds of 5 to 15 miles per hour. Saturday, a uh, low of 65, high of 89, south winds at 5 to 15 miles per hour. Sunday, low of 67, high of 89, with south winds of 5 to 15 miles per hour. And like I mentioned, uh, but lows will continue to be around 70. Monday and Tuesday and Wednesday, and actually Thursday, 68 to 70, each of those days, and highs will be right around 89, 90, uh, 86, 89 on Monday, 86 on Tuesday, 87 on next Wednesday, and 86 on Thursday, August the 1st, and 86 on Friday, August the 2nd, kind of give you some of the various highs and lows. Uh, during that time frame. I do not know the world to continue to ice weather with uh, lows mainly in the well, mid 50s almost the next couple of mornings or thereabouts and then uh, warming up to the lower 60s by the middle of next week and highs mainly in the mid 80s to near 90. We'll cover the next uh, nine days pretty close. Alrighty, one more time tomorrow, uh, 57 for low, 85 for high, northeast wind to 5 to 10 miles per hour with mostly clear skies, sun rises at 557 and sets to 805, the moon will be rising at 1236 a.m. tomorrow morning and set at 152 p.m. tomorrow afternoon, and again the last quarter moon phase will be complete. Alrighty, I think that's it for tonight, uh, thank you for watching and viewing. Uh, double check the radar again. It's still, it's still clear. It probably will be for next several days. Thank you for watching and viewing and listening to my uh, crazy comments <laughs> from time to time. And I appreciate you uh, subscribing and uh, watching, viewing, and uh, leaving some nice comments as well. And of course, I hope to update you again uh, by tomorrow night and go from there. Well, other than that, good night and God bless you from uh, Bemis, Tennessee, and talk to you later. Goodbye.